This holiday season, there's one food item that will be ready to be sliced on every Italian table, the classic panettone. It's Italy's version of sweet bread that has traveled the world for its richness. However, these days, the art of making one from scratch has been thrown out with leading companies mass producing them months in advance. Luckily, in the middle of so much change, there's one Roman pastry chef that refuses to sacrifice quality for quantity or taste. For more than 40 years, Alfredo Buffalo, better known as Billy, has been making panettones with love, time, and patience. His recipe includes a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but a whole lot of heart. Here's how. It all started bright and early in the tiniest kitchen with only a few ingredients and a tight workstation. And today he's going to show us how to make the classic panettone. So, pandoro o panettone? The ingredients are lievito naturale, farina, farina, zucchero, burro, bubova, rossi. E tutto l'ingrediente uetta, cedro e arancio. E basta. basta. Naturale, tutta roba naturale, non c'è altri roba chimica. Our mission was to make 40 panettones by lunchtime. However, when I asked Billy how long the entire process would take, I was tempted to hang up my apron. Geez, 24 hours, I thought. It must be good if it takes that long. Okay, let's get started. Along the way, I learned that the secret ingredient to making a delicious panettone comes down to using natural yeast, giving it that dome shape we've all come to enjoy, plus that spongy feel we all love to bite into. While we waited for the yeast to rise, Billy didn't skip a beat. Instead, he started making gelato, all in an effort to keep up with the demand of this historical ice cream parlor, Giolitti, which is famous for serving up gelato for more than a century. I, on the other hand, made myself useful by running around the kitchen supervising his apprentices, tasting everything in sight, from cakes to cookies to chocolate-covered bonbons to fruit-covered pastries to a variety of other yummy treats. All I could do was eat. But the one sweet that had me thinking I had landed in heaven instead of Santa's North Pole Bakery was the beautifully designed nativity scenes created from scratch using chocolate-covered panettone bread. Yes, the same bread we were waiting to put in the oven. Wow, what talent! Okay, time to finish what we started. Panettones are ready to be baked. Billy adds the finishing touches and voila, off they go to the oven. There we go, guys. Oh my lord, we're done. The finished product. Oh, the smell. Time to dive into what we created with so much dedication. Happy Holidays!